don't get it twisted, my friends. I hope you're my friends. But I'm not here to tell you guys how to play your games or say, hey, this is the best solution possible to each their own. Everybody's got different budget, a different idea of how they want to play their retro games or even current. I don't care what console you play your games on. But if you're somebody like me, I mean, I enjoy retro games and I enjoy looking at different ways to play those retro games from the cheapest possible solution, like emulation for free, then cost you a dime, to, you know, original hardware. Look at this scuffed up PC Engine core graphics, right? Stuff like that to, hey, clone consoles. Oh, I got this upside down. We ain't talking about this today. I haven't even opened it yet, but I did finally get the uh, Duo. We'll be doing a video on this coming up. But not today. Today I want to focus on the original hardware here with a few options from Cricks that I find really interesting. The Turbo EverDrive Pro. I know this has been out for a bit. I kind of missed the boat on it when it first came out, but I do have one now. We're going to check it out. So, hey, I've had the uh, original Turbo EverDrive and that thing was pretty sweet. This new one has a lot more support going on. Uh, and there's, this is the Oh, let me get it out of this thing. So this is the, the clamshell that Crix sells these things in through uh, like the official site, his official site. And it, it's an okay little thing. But uh, if you buy these like through Stone Age Gamer, they do offer like their deluxe bundles where you can get one, uh, any of their flash carts in a nicer box like this. Uh, some carts have, you know, customizations and then they give you like a, Freaking uh, instruction manual, some stickers and stuff. There you go. This is not like a cheap option. So yeah, if you wanna just play for free, that's great, but this is kind of cool at the same time. So yeah, Stone Age Gamer option, uh, which you're gonna pay a little bit more money for uh, to get that deluxe and you know the extra benefits, I guess, however you wanna look at it, or pay a little less, go straight through Cricks and get this little uh, box. There you go. So this thing here, you pop in a micro SD card. If you're not aware, you know what I mean? Like pop in a micro SD card, uh, download your games, throw it on there, play a PC engine, turbo graphics games, all that good stuff. Uh, but the cool thing with this is it allows for you to play CD based games just through that micro SD card through the hue card slot. You don't have to attach anything to the back or anything like the uh, super HD system three pro, which We've done a video on before. They all have their pros and cons, you know, and what's going on. Uh, this one has a lot of interesting things going on. You can still have access to that back there, you know, the butt of the system. Uh, and then the other thing that goes along with this that Crick sells is the EDFX. So this little fella here, I'm gonna show you uh, the bear one from Cricks, And then uh, Stone Age Gamer does sell the same thing. Officially, like, you know, they work with Cricks, get these products over. Uh, but they offer with this like 3D printed shell and they have different options for that. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, this can be used on the Core Graphics, PC Engine, numerous consoles, Turbo Graphics. And what this does is you plug it in the back to the butt, get it in there nice and nice and firm. Yeah. And then you have a RGB composite, all that good stuff, whatever you want. What I like to do, one of my favorite adapters out there, is the uh, Rad 2X uh, powered by RetroTINK. This one's for the Genesis. I just label everything nowadays. This gives you HDMI. So we could plug this thing in. So I'll plug, I'm gonna take that one out, plug this one in, get it in there nice and firm. It looks like it goes right along with it. Plug this in and we have HDMI. I do have my triad power supply for this thing. So I wanna check this out real quick with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Get my controller plugged in. So I believe the uh, EDFX, these things are around 50 bucks or so. Uh, yeah, you know, like I said, plenty of different options out there. Let's power this thing on. So there we go. So I've already got this loaded up, Turbo Graphics games, PC Engine, uh, Super Graphics, which I cannot play on a Core Graphics. You can use this to play Super Graphics on the Analog Duo, or if you actually have, Super graphics, or obviously you're welcome to just emulate them games for free. And then we do have uh, CD-ROMs down here. So I'm trying to remember, I think you press select. Yeah, there you go. 
And then you can get into options, in-game menu. So the cool thing with uh, the Turbo EverDrive Pro is you do have save states. So you could be saving your states, loading your states, be cheating, doing whatever you got to do. Sometimes people just ain't got time, man. Hit that save state, come back to the game later. Don't lose your progress, right? And then you have a, a few other options. I know audio options is kind of important, um, especially if you're using like the EDFX and the Turbo EverDrive. Uh, when you first plug it in, if you don't get audio, you just go to this menu and make some adjustments. End game combo for your quick save states. Like I think this is default run and right, and then run and left for load. Menu is run and down. And you can change that if you want. System folder, here you could uh, add your themes, change your different themes if you want. But let's go ahead and load up a game. So I've got US and Japanese CD games. Let's find something. There we go. I had to add some speakers. I don't think this monitor's audio is very loud. Holy crap. You get that stereo CD audio from the EDFX being attached. Sweet. You can also play this game, you know, legally on the PC Engine Mini, Core Graphics Mini, Turbo Graphics Mini. I still think these mofos need to, like, come out with another wave of them because not enough people got their hands on one. They were a hundred bucks when they came out. A lot of people wanted the Turbo Graphics version and it was difficult to get your hands on after, you know, there's a couple small waves. Now it's ridiculous. Look at the prices of those things. You're, you're like at the same level of buying an original console with all these accessories. Ridiculous. The one thing I like with uh, these EverDrives and flash carts is loading up like ROM hacks and translations. Like I didn't do that here. This is the original game, but that's one thing I really like. Like when new games come out, different hacks, homebrews, being able to play them on original hardware. Not, not gonna be for everyone, I'm not an idiot. Like I, I know that, but there's some people, you know, will be like, man, there's just a certain feel popping in a cartridge, even if it's a multi-cart into original hardware using the uh, you know, original controllers. There's some feeling there for a lot of people, but not everyone, so that's okay. Oh my God. Crank it up. Go to a turbo graphics game, Bonk's Big Adventure. So here, this should work, down and, and run, bringing up the uh, in-game menu. So you have your save state, your load state, cheats, reset game, exit game, that kind of thing. If you just press two, it goes back to the game. Oh. Man, there's so many awesome games for the Turbo Graphics PC Engine. A ton of games for PC Engine. Turbo Graphics didn't have too many that released in the US, but there are still a lot of cool ones. You know, everybody loves Bonk, I think. Uh, where's one of my favorites? Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. This game was also released on the NES, um, which is a fine version of the game. But ultimately, I, I think this is the better version. It just, you know, bigger sprites, nicer animation. You know, everything looks looks good in this version of the game. The NES one's really good too, but I, I just prefer this one. Be Jackie Chan jacking up some tigers and frogs and little homeless looking dudes with knives. It's gonna shank you in the balls. Oh, and then you had cla classics like Splatterhouse, dude. I mean, I know there's a ton of awesome games on PC Engine side, but there's still a lot of cool stuff on the US side. But here we go, man, the music in this game. Uh, that piece of wood. Bam. 
freaking dude throwing up on me, man. All right, let's go to a CD game again. Asuka, 120%. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bam! Oh, she th throwing at me bowling pin? What the hell is that? Oh, different sports types items. Okay, what was that? A, a whip or a ribbon? What the hell? Bitch slap that fucker. Ugh. Oh. Got her right in the freaking shin, dude. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to highlight, like I've been recording for like a half hour. Holy crap, I'm gonna have to edit this down. But I just wanted to highlight these different options um, for playing your retro games. No right or wrong answers, dudes. Like emulate however you want, playing original hardware, flash carts, original carts. Who gives a fuh, man? Just as long as you're having fun. I just like highlighting different options. And this this one, you know, it can be up there. Turbo ever drives around a couple hundred bucks. The EDF X is like 50 bucks. Uh, if you try to get a core graphics or a PC engine uh, from Japan, under $100 a lot of times. Um, but yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys. Bye.